If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button to join this community of raw boxing opinions. The question really is, why would Anthony Joshua be ducking Tyson Fury? Why would he? Ever since Anthony Joshua stated on ESPN First Take that he's only interested in facing champions, calling out Deontay Wilder, many p boxing fans, or at least Fury fans, felt that he was disrespecting Fury when he ignored the fact that Fury was the lineal or is the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. And some of those boxing fans are now... Are are now starting to say that, well, maybe uh, Anthony Joshua is just, this is his way to duck Tyson Fury, right? By saying he, he only fights champions. Now, what did Anthony Joshua say on ESPN First Take? He said he wants to, and what did he say on IFL TV for that matter? He said he wants to fight champions, and he's only interested in fighting champions because he wants to become undisputed. He wants to be considered the best heavyweight. He wants all four belts. When he looks at Tyson Fury, he doesn't recognize him as a champion because he is a lineal champion. And I, I already told you guys how I stand with the lineal championship uh, status. It's like an invisible champion. It's being a champion without being a champion. He doesn't hold one, none of the major belts. Therefore, I'm not going to consider him a champion. I consider Tyson Fury as a former champion who got stripped. Nobody beat him. I get it. But he's not a champion anymore because he got stripped. At the end of the day, if he wants to be a champion again, in my eyes, he has to beat Joshua or Wilder. And then he'll win one of their titles. Then I'll start, I'll start saying he's a champion. So what does that tell you? That tells you that, or at least that tells me that, if Tyson Fury would have beaten, if Tyson Fury would have beaten Deontay Wilder and won that WBC strap, Anthony Joshua would be saying, I'm not interested in, in Deontay Wilder. I'm only interested in champions. I want Tyson Fury next. That's what Anthony Joshua would be saying. Because he would want to face Tyson Fury. To beat him to become undisputed. Because he's he has a goal. And that goal is to become undisputed. And you know what people will be saying then? People will be saying. Deontay Wilder fans will be saying then. Oh Anthony Joshua is ducking Deontay Wilder. Because now he's not interested in facing Deontay Wilder. Because he's no longer a champ. But he wants to face Tyson Fury. He's a ducker. Just like some of these uh, Tyson Fury fans are saying that or claiming that Anthony Joshua is afraid of T uh, Tyson Fury because he, 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 he refuses to acknowledge the fact that he is the lineal champion, the heavyweight champion of the world. And he only wants to face Deontay Wilder. But I thought Anthony Joshua was afraid of Deontay Wilder, right? Um, and again, if you look at Anthony Joshua's history, right, Anthony Joshua... First of all, Anthony Joshua called out Tyson Fury a year ago, calling him a fat fuck on Twitter, saying that he should get in shape and then they could fight. Okay, so I don't want to hear this nonsense that he's afraid of Anthony of Tyson Fury. Second, if you look at T Anthony Joshua's history, he's always challenged himself. He's always fought the champions in the division. So why would he be afraid of Tyson Fury, the only thing that I could think of, if, I, if, I, if I'm sitting here trying to be, you know, trying to uh, trying to side with the Tyson Fury fans, and I'm thinking, why would he not want to fight Tyson Fury? It would only maybe be when it for something maybe like pride. You know, both Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury are from the UK. They're British-born heavyweights, right? Fighters. So. Right now, there's a lot of people who who think that jo Joshua is the champion, but there's still a lot of British fans who feel that, you know, Fury is is, is the real champion. And maybe when it comes to like a uh, ego thing, maybe Anthony Joshua feels that he doesn't want to lose. And this is just me, you know, hypothetically thinking if I'm siding with the Tyson Fury fans, maybe in his mind he's thinking, okay, if I lose to Tyson Fury, I will no longer be the number one British heavyweight. Tyson Fury would be the, uh, the the best heavyweight, and that's why he doesn't want to fight. It's kind of like when uh, when Amir Khan, when it comes to Amir Khan and Kell Brook, um, I feel that Amir Khan doesn't want to fight Kell Brook because he feels that if he loses to Kell Brook, then he can't say he's the best uh, British uh, welterweight. Because right now he you know he might feel that he's the best British welterweight, but then a lot of people feel that Kell Brook is the best British welterweight. So if they both fight. The winner of that will be considered the best British welterweight. And many people were saying in the past that maybe it's because 
Amir Khan doesn't want to lose to Kale Brooks, uh, so then he, he, you know, he won't feel like, oh, I'm second best to Kale Brook, and I want to be first, I want to be the best British fighter, so maybe this is the same, you know, theory when it comes to Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, again, this is just what I'm saying, my, my, some people might be thinking, maybe if he loses to Tyson Fury, uh, he won't, it's an ego thing. He won't be happy because Tyson Fury is now the champion. I mean, is not considered the best British heavyweight. Again, why would Anthony Joshua be afraid? Why would any heavyweight be afraid of Tyson Fury? The only thing you would have to be, uh, I guess, irritated by Tyson Fury is his awkward style. But you don't have to be worried about no punching power. It's just his style. Can you deal with his style? Vladimir Klitschko couldn't deal with it. Deontay Wilder couldn't deal with it. At some point, a fighter is going to be able to deal with it, and, he, and that fighter is going to be able to beat him. So far, no fighter has been able to deal or been able to figure out Tyson Fury's style. Anthony Joshua was thrown in there in, into the lines then early in his career with guys like Vladimir Klitschko. Guys like Dillian White. Dillian White at the time wasn't ranked highly, but now Dillian White, you know, Dillian White's, Anthony Joshua's victory over Dillian White looks better every year just because how good Dillian White has become since then. So, I think mentally, Joshua is a strong character. This is why I don't I don't feel that he's afraid of Deontay Wilder or uh, Tyson Fury in terms of like being petrified. Because like I said, I think he's a strong character because he accepted these fights early on in his career with Dillian White. With, uh, uh, what's his name, Tyson, uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Even with Alexander Povekian, he had like 21 fights when he fought Alexander Povekian. You get what I'm saying? Vladimir Klitschko fought him when he had like 60 plus fights. So, this is why I don't think that Joshua is afraid of any uh, body necessarily. Um, the only thing might be the pride thing. But again, there's really no reason for Anthony Joshua to be uh, afraid or intimidated by Tyson Fury. I personally think that he's going to face both Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury because I've seen interviews of him saying that he wants to face Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury before Tyson Fury fought uh, uh, Deontay Wilder. He was saying this. He wants to face Tyson Fury. The only way that I don't see uh, him fighting these guys is if, uh, De you know, maybe uh, Tyson Fury retires again and goes on a three-year you know, hiatus or he ends up losing again. Or maybe Deontay Wilder ends up losing. Maybe Deontay Wilder ends up ducking him. But I personally don't think that uh, Anthony Joshua is afraid of these uh, or of any of these guys. Anyway, guys, that was the same out.